Just how cold is it out there? Cold enough to keep crews from Toledo's water division busy. This main water line near Elmer and Reynolds is just one of several repairmen had to tackle today. The pike didn't freeze, but the frozen earth above it caused it to snap. Well, the ground shifts and it starts breaking the mains and uh, the water starts coming out. We have to come out and repair them. What do you think it's going to be like this weekend? Probably going to be a lot of them. Okay, so there's, there's a number of ways that you could be out of water. Water Commissioner Whit Vancott says it's difficult to predict how much damage this weekend's cold snap will cause. He says that all depends on which lines break. When you're out in the residential area, uh, you're dealing with only a few homes and an 8-inch pipe. When you're dealing with a 30-inch main, you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds of homes. If you have water problems this weekend, chances are it won't be because of a break in the main line, but frozen pipes in your house or apartment. Lines in outside walls and poorly insulated crawl spaces are especially vulnerable. To reduce the risk of a freeze-up, plumbers recommend that you wrap any exposed pipes and seal openings where a draft might occur. You might also leave your water running in a thin stream, about an eighth of an inch in diameter. And if you do have problems, try thawing any exposed pipes with a hair dryer. If you're in a, a trailer park and you have a, some type of a, a kerosene healer or a salamander or something you can put underneath there, and you've got skirting where you can warm the whole area up, it would thaw this out. Uh, but I don't recommend a torch in a crawl space unless you're a professional. A torch in a crawl space can be very, very dangerous. The plumbers say they haven't had many calls yet, but with the thermometer expected to dip well below zero tonight, both they and the water division are bracing for a busy weekend. Jim Taylor, Toledo 11 News.